Hello, welcome to WebDev Wednesday. My name is Owen, and in this video, we're going to learn about 10 HTML tags to format your text. So at this stage, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the basic anatomy or the basic structure of an HTML tag. The majority that we've seen so far have an opening tag, so in between the angle brackets, like uh, the tag name here, and then a closing tag, which is very similar to the opening tag, with the main difference being that there's a forward slash in the uh, closing tag. To create our HTML tags, what we'll do is create a basic HTML page. I've got some shortcuts installed in here in Sublime just to take the heavy lifting out of it for me. Uh, we've got 10 text tags. That can be our uh, title. And the very first one we're going to learn, tag number one, is the paragraph tag. So if we haven't seen that one yet, uh, this is just the plain text. This is how it would appear on a page. And uh, we'll then go into our browser. So you can use a uh, right click and you can do open in browser like this to view it in your web browser. Over in our web browser then we can see that the dummy text or the placeholder text has appeared in the default browser font here in my window. Back in um, Sublime then what I'm going to do is create another paragraph underneath the plain text and I'm going to do a quick example of some bold text. So opening and closing B tags. Uh, and so this text is bold and then when we save it we can go over to our browser and if we do a reload we can see what the bold text looks like just below the plain text. Tag number three in our list is some italicized text. So uh, this text is italic like so. Reloading over here we see what the italicized text looks like. So it's the plain text but it's at a bit of an angle. Another common thing then that we might want to do is uh, have a strike through or a line through some text. Um, so what we'll do is just really quickly do, uh, duplicate this. Is, uh, strike through. Okay, so in our browser, if you want to put a line through or delete, as the tag implies, um, some piece, of, some text, what you do is use the del del tags. So the next tag we're going to look at is the underline tag. This is uh, ins for insert text. So underlined text looks like this. And if we save, we can jump back into our browser and reload to preview the underline text. Okay, so that's the, we're halfway there already. Those are the first five text formatting tags. Tag number six then is going to be some highlighted uh, text. So the mark tag allows you to uh, highlight some text like this. We save and reload. We can see then that we get this kind of yellow highlighting. So it's great for drawing attention to a piece of text like that. Tag number seven then, we're going to use the uh, subscript. So uh, that's a letter or a piece of text maybe that goes below the line. Um, just to give you an example then, we could have, uh, let's say we uh, have a little chemical formula. So the water could be H2O. This wouldn't be uh, marked up, but if we put in a little super subscript tag, first of all, that'll go below the H. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, uh, so this is much better formatting. So if you're doing something like that, some sort of um, chemical formulas or anything else that uses uh, subscript tags like this, um, you can use the sub, S-U-B, uh, tag to do that. The opposite then of this would be the superscript. So um, we could say maybe the area of a circle is circle is uh, pi or squared. So we could um, use pi and then or and then sup would be our superscript tags. Squared would look like that. Um, so let's save this and preview it in our browser. So if we want even for creating some sort of footnote or a reference pi or squared, you guess that the symbol here using the ASCII entity, we'll cover those in more detail in another video or then just gets printed out as the normal, and then the superscript allows you to have this raised up or elevated piece of text 
like so. So the next tag then that we're going to look at is to do kind of a, a quote, a quotation from an article. These are sometimes called pull quotes, uh, but the um, HTML tag is the block quote, like this. Um, so you can put in whatever uh, inspirational quote you want. And we can preview it here in our browser. So that would be, you could have, you know, paragraphs and paragraphs of plain text up here, and the uh, block quote then it gets indented and it gets a little bit of extra padding and spacing around it. Um, so you could maybe put some uh, um, text around here just to have a closer look at what that looks like. Like that. So if that were in the middle of a, an article or in the middle of a blog post, uh, you'd have your paragraph text all around. The block quote here would be all by itself, and then the, continue on with the rest of your your texts there. Okay, so the next tag then that we're going to look at is the code um, tag. What that does then is it prints out in kind of a terminal type font or a monospace font uh, the um, text then that we want to display. So this is really good if you're doing some sort of like uh, instructions or commands that should be run on a computer. So let's take a quick look at this. Scroll down here on our page a little bit. And you can see that it's actually using a, a different font. So in all the previous examples, we'd use kind of the default font of the browser. And here we're using this monospaced font. So it's something more similar to what you'd see in a command line. Okay, so that's it for this video then. We've introduced 10 different ways of styling or formatting text in an HTML document. Just to go as a quick review, we looked at plain paragraph text in the P tag. B tags then were for bold text. I tags are used for italic text. If you want to put a line through something, you use the del or delete tags. If you want to underline, you use ins or the insert tag. Uh, the mark tag then is what you use when you want to highlight a piece of text. We saw the default was just to have a, a yellow background. For small letters below the, the line, you use subscript, so sub. For um, elevated or raised up letters, you use sup, the superscript tag like that. Um, if you want to have a piece of text uh, taken out of an article for a quotation, you use a thing called a block quote, um, that's the tag there. And then the final thing, if you want uh, maybe some instructions that your user can type into their computer um, like this, then you put them inside uh, the code tags and they get printed out on the screen. Okay, so that's it for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see more um, videos about HTML and web development, in general, um, let me know in the comments section. If you found it was helpful, uh, please like and share this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.